Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, How are you? Teacher. I'm fine, teacher. Glad to hear. I'm just checking the platform. Let's see if everybody did. I think everybody finished. Hmm. Very good. Just Erwin. Amos. Okay. Okay, how's everything going, guys? How was your day today? Okay, Jessica, how was your day? Good evening, teacher. I'm doing great. It was great teacher, because I I I had really really busy all, all day long in my job. You were very busy. Yeah, yeah, teacher. Okay. You? Um, was good actually. Second day, well, actually, first day, first day at work. At the call center, really? yeah. I started, uh, started at five. I finished at twelve thirty, but I'm not taking calls. I'm actually resolving cases. So I learned how to give money to people <laughs> on the Visa, the Mastercard networks, discovery oh. networks. <laughs> That's very interesting. It's very dangerous, actually, because if I'm yeah, I, if I'm not careful, <laughs> I can end up screwing things up for the secu security number and all, 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 all no, no 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 if i make a mistake on the amount for example I can, oh, okay i can end up giving... people call for, for no, no it's just it's just i work for a department that takes care of fraud oh okay fraud, okay, fraudulent okay. charges on debit cards mm -hmm. basically yeah that's that's the way it is they're very popular in the states you know um when you buy a prepaid card, a gift card. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then after 12.30, I finished and I had lunch by myself. Then I painted the, the, the pila from the exterior and I washed some clothes and I went outside with my dog and repaired the car and broke a light. <laughs> <laughs> I broke a light. Oh no! Uh, but I'm I'm positive. I'm, I'm things happen for a reason. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Those were original German lights, and I broke one, and they're like 150. The pair. <laughs> I'm so sad. Yeah. Okay. I, I wanted them to be original, but anyways. Okay. <laughs> not gonna happen. So yeah, that was my day. It was interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you do at work? Um, I work for, for government. For the government? Oh, yeah, you told yeah, me. Yeah, for the government. Yeah. In the um, uh, audit uh, department uh, from... Um, uh, I don't know if you know... Autoridad Marítima Portuaria. Uh, they, they, they make, they do the, they, they have the, the, uh, like ID for, mm -hmm. for, for, for ship and another kind of, of naval, naval uh, ships. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to but, audit audit the um, tax declarations. Let's say all all kind of of process because we we review all our process administrative operative and we try to to see that 
all the process it, it, it be okay. It's right? transparent and they're okay. Yeah. Legal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That's mm -hmm. interesting. This is very interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> okay. I remember that. Okay. Let's start the class, guys. I'm gonna do the attendance. It's 805 already. Welcome everybody. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. <clears throat> Not here yet. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Excellent. Blanca Estefani Navarro Flores. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Good. Erika Beatriz Lopez Morales. Present. Thank you. And we're staying tonight, Erika, for 10 minutes at the end of the class, okay? Okay, teacher. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Irwin, the platform. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Thank you. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chavez. Fredis Vladimir Cortez Lopez. How's your teacher? Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Amos Alfredo Garcia Granadino. Amos is not here yet. He's sick still. Josué Alberto Salas Benitez. Present teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Yuri, Yuri, not here yet. Okay. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Stefania Carolina Reyes Sanchez. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. The platform. Yeah. Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz. I'm here. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Jocelyn. Okay. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. I see you. I see you, Jocelyn. How's the baby? Uh, she is better now. Okay. I am tired, but she's, she's getting better. Did you Since take her to the hospital? Yes, we went to the east today. I got Loa from my job today. I didn't work the whole day. And she took some exams and we will see what is going to happen next. Well, hopefully she's doing better, okay? We'll be praying Thank for you, her. Teacher. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Irene, the platform. Okay. Jarvin okay. Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you. Thelma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Present teacher. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Well, okay. Things are getting more difficult every day, but. Present teacher. I'm sorry to be late. <laughs> it's okay, Judy. Don't worry. At least you made it. It's good. Hey, um, you know, I was thinking uh, how life has changed with this whole pandemic. But something positive is what we're talking about. It was time, I believe, for humanity to move to um, to this, to the internet, you know, jump into the internet. Have you heard of the metaverse? Kind of yes. The virtual world. Uh -huh. no, no, no. Yes. To buy crypto related with the metaverse. Really? Yes, I, it is. I, I don't understand that part. I haven't <coughs> studied that part yet. I mean, how the crypto is involved with the metaverse, you know. Uh, uh, you you can buy your own land in in the in the your virtual land with with Bitcoin. Why would I want a virtual? Yes, land? for example, you uh, Nike uh, can put a new store virtual, and all all the all people can uh, we can in uh, oh, oh, oh. will in will be able be able in in the in the virtual store of night to go inside we'll be able to go inside the virtual store oh yeah you told me that right you told me that fair um 
Well, that sounds interesting. Mm. So all we're missing is just the holograms, right? In real life, you know, the holograms walking, oh my God, like ghosts. It's gonna be. Yeah. That, uh, that market is going to run up in the future, maybe this year, and is going, is going to be a good opportunity because, for example, when Meta, before with the name Facebook, when they decide to change the name of that company to the Meta, many crypto, with, they, they have a Metaverse involved they be, they began to to get many money from get much invest, money much for, money for investors that why the, for investors and that why they they get they got a good good rate uh, the for, but now you can buy many cryptos and with a big discount much Bitcoin, uh, much crypto. Okay, many cryptos. Um, no, because crypto is like the currency. No, no, crypto is like the money, right? Crypto yes, is the money. A specific, I, th I uh, think we have to set the set the difference, Jerry. Uh, it's like crypto is the money, right? It's the synonym for money. And then you have crypto, you have, I'm sorry, you have BTC, you have Dodge. Those are the currencies. Yes, but the, for example, one of those is Sand. Mm -hmm. The other one is Mana. Is like a, you can buy a, a, a specific, a virtual land over there. And no, and I was saying, I was saying, be careful how you pluralize talking about the grammar. If you say crypto, it's just like saying money. Currency. So much currency. Okay, wait, but uh, what I'm saying is I can say much money. I have much money. I have much crypto. Hmm. I, have, I, I have a lot of crypto because crypto is the cryptocurrency. If you do want to... <laughs> this is very weird. For example, Adam, Bitcoin, but you, you cannot say I have many cryptos. Yes. You can. Uh, yes, you can it... because crypto is the cryptocurrency. In the in the type of the crypto is, for example, Ada, Bitcoin, Solana. Okay. Have... I have many Solanas. I have many no. Bitcoins. Yeah. <laughs> that that's uh, interesting. It's interesting yeah. to think that you know. Yeah. Oh my God. I have much virtual money. That that I guess that will be the way. Oh my virtual god! Virtual money is not the same that crypto. Right, that's my point. I mean, <laughs> let's think your about money, it. You, when you pay with your credit card, you are using a uh, virtual money, but exactly. the crypto currency is different because that kind of currency is the central and almost the central and like a Bitcoin. It's a, it's a protocol. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just code. It's, it's just code. Got it. Mm -hmm. I got you guys. Man, I have to jump into that topic before somebody else does. Okay. Anyways, and they're teaching on the metaverse already. It's crazy. Oh my God. Okay. So, what do you remember about yesterday? Really quick. Help me, guys. I don't remember. Just today, we learned uh, some new concepts, new mm -hmm. terms. Yes. Mm -hmm. For example, international trade, tech, tech hub, and commission free. And unprofitable. And unprofitable, yes. Okay. Good. You were given some examples, right? Somebody who didn't participate yesterday making the sentences using these new terms. We're going to have a lot of terms today as well, always related to this topic of e-commerce. But then we're going to jump into something else that we kind of mentioned before. Entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship, how to become an entrepreneur. Okay, and start your entrepreneurship. Okay, so 
Anybody else who wants to give to give examples on, on using these terms, international trade tech hub, unprofitable, commission-free? I'm only yours. Mm -hmm. Okay, no volunteer, a victim. Irene, what's your favorite color? She was like, oh, me. And pink. Blue? Pink. Oh, pink. I, I, I'm a little bit, well, I'm that, I'm daltonic anyways, guys, but let's see. <laughs> Fernando. Hi. <clears throat> okay. Uh, for example, <clears throat> If you got if you get uh, Amazon Prime subscription, you can get commission free for your purchases. Hmm. You can get commission free for your purchases. By the way, what is commission free? Hmm. Uh, when you buy something without charge in your in for service like a flat fee or or transport. Mm. Without taxes. Without taxes, but commission free. Mm, no commission, no commission. Well, in the end, it's like a discount, I guess. Uh, yes, uh, but you can you can translate uh, commission free in many ways because, for example, <clears throat> if I if there is a, there are a, a discounts in, in their products. That is commission that way of commission free. Maybe they deliver the products free without charges. That is a uh, way commission free, I think. Mm. Yeah, you end up paying less. Okay, good. Thank you, Fernando. Uh, what's your favorite color? <clears throat> Blue. Blue. Oh my God. Okay, I'm blue. Hmm. Also, Alberto, uh, are you wearing a light blue shirt, I guess? Or wait, Erika Beatriz, right? Is that blue or black? Uh, what? Your jacket? It's blue. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, give us an example using one of the terms we started yesterday. One example or one sentence? One sentence, uh-huh. Okay, I, um, I use my electronic bank and I receive some services, some commission-free services. I don't know if it is correct. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay, one more. Select someone, Erika. Okay, I choose... To Sandra? Okay, Sandra, say, Sandra, I choose you. Sandra, I choose you. <laughs> you didn't watch Pokemon, right? Okay. Sandrita. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Repeat, please. Just make a sentence with any word international trade, tech hub, any term. I'm sorry. Unprofitable. Okay. Uh, for example, COVID uh, affects uh, the pandemic with uh, e-commerce, maybe? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's use international trade, tech hub, or unprofitable in your sentence. Okay. Sorry, Peter. It's okay. Okay, somebody who wants to help. Who can make a sentence with tech hub? Maybe I would we like to, to found a found a, a new tech hub in in my city. 
Okay, good. Um, following Sandra's example, COVID-19 made tech hubs more um, popular. Yep, COVID-19 made tech hubs more popular, for example. And it's true, right? They became more known. As I was saying at the beginning, you know, this whole pandemic is making uh, technology uh, going up really fast. Okay, don't forget to turn on your camera, please. That's a requirement from InstaForb and to have your full name on your screen as well. So today we're gonna start talking about, well, actually reading something to get more vocabulary. Yeah, this is a very extend, well, it's just 20, 20 um, concepts. I'll send you the link right now. This should be on your book as well. But we're just going to study these terms in groups. And as we just did, we're going to apply them using reported speech if possible. Try to make some examples with your classmates, find new vocabulary that you didn't know, okay? Get to know more about it. And we're gonna talk about inter entrepreneurs um, in this class. And also we have to review a new grammar. Um, it's just reported speech with imperatives. Reported speech imperatives. It's very easy, don't worry. If you remember imperatives, it's not gonna be difficult. So talking about entrepreneurs, um, do you understand the, the, the word entrepreneur, right? Yep. It's very popular in El Salvador. Yes. Okay. Do you know anybody or do you have your own entrepreneurship? In I my case, my, oh, I'm sorry. Just no, here. continue, sorry. I, I know someone who uh, is, um, how do you say the word, the word, sorry? Can you repeat? Uh, I know someone who has an entrepreneurship. And yes, who has an entrepreneurship. She lives from that. Uh, she sells a cloth, second, second hand cloth, but she legally earns money. Yeah. She legally or she really earns money? She really earns, earns money. money. Really? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. That sounds interesting. Back in 2014, someone told me, hey, you know what? You should invest on clothes, secondhand clothes. And I didn't listen to him. I had some money to invest back then. We ended up buying a house instead of investing on something. I hate myself for doing that. But anyways, um, next year after he told me that, um, they started a new business just like uh, Genesis, I think it was. So it, mm -hmm. it became more popular and just exactly where he said, he said, you know what, you should start a business near in um, La, La Gavidia, right? Around that area and boom. I was like, okay, he was right. But you know, life is the way it is. Yes, close is very lucrative. What other entrepreneurship do you know, Erika, you said? Yes, I know uh, some entrepreneurs. Uh, one of them is my sister, my old sister. My older sister? My, my older sister, yes. <laughs> what, does she, what does she do? Uh, she has her own is glasses store. I don't know how they say optica in in English. Um, yes, that's the way glasses store. Glasses store. Okay. No, 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 no. There has got to be a way, but I don't remember. Okay. Google. <laughs> okay, let me check. Oh, really? And but what kind of uh, glasses does she sell? Uh, ophthalmic. I don't. I don't know if the correct word in English is is ophthalmic. Mm -hmm. Like uh, optics. Uh, yes, glasses with a receipt. Re mm. med medical uh, receipt. I don't know. Medical receipt. Yes, recipe. Recipe. Okay. recipe. recipe. Okay, recipe. and some glasses. Uh, glasses for kids for mm -hmm. adults oh yes. really 
Okay, yeah. so, sunglasses, I guess, too. Sorry? Sunglasses as well. She sells Sun sunglasses. Sunglasses, yes. Mm -hmm. Sunglasses, too, yeah. Okay. So, yes, she has her own optics. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, very interesting. Um, okay, so we're gonna talk about that in a minute. I'm just, I just send you the link to WhatsApp so you can talk with your classmates about the different terms that we're going to study today. They're very interesting actually regarding the next topics that we're gonna talk about entrepreneurship. So please help your classmates speaking. Okay, don't stay quiet, turn on your camera participate with your group, okay? I'll make you some questions when we come back. Okay, let's go, let's go. Come on, let's talk. The teacher is the governor. Good evening, guys. Good evening. What is this? Venture. Okay. Dynamic English. Mm -hmm. Okay, Start yes. Yeah. Entrepreneur vocabulary. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me see. We okay. have to learn 20K entrepreneurship vocabulary words. Did you get it? Um, Did you open? Would you repeat, please? I have no idea. Anybody else? Do you know? Well, the first word is entrepreneur. Yes. What? Entrepreneurship. <laughs> Entrepreneurship. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I don't know. It's a person. It's a person. Is someone who starts a business for the first time. Inter by himself or by can, herself. Can you, could you help me, please, teacher? With what? Um, can you repeat the word? Sure. The pronunciation? Pronunciation? In please? Entrepreneurship. 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 Mm -hmm. Entrepreneurship. So one is interpreter, mm -hmm. interpreter, then you have Without entrepreneurship. E and this entrepreneurship. You got it. Entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship. Okay, so person start a business, the activity of starting business. Or profit. Hmm. It's quiet here, Joe. I decide to. I. Yes, that is. Uh... The meaning of that, that word it is a, a idea that you 
know that these are uh, risky projects. <laughs> Number two, profit, financial gain. Example, entrepreneurs take financial risk with the hopes of profiting from their business venture. Okay, and number four is a startup, a newly established business. Example, when it first started, Dynamic English was a startup. Language Institute, the founders, Ted and Andrew, are both entrepreneurs. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, five inve inve investors. Investors. A person, uh, investor. A person that puts money into a project or a small business with, with the hope of eventually receiving profit. profit. Example, when the entrepreneurs create their eco-friendly cleaning product business, they were fortunate to, to secure several investors to support their growth. Number six, I don't know who wants to read number six. It will be oh, the, no. Okay, give me a moment, please. Okay, it will be okay. number six, okay? Oops, I don't know how Good. to know. Okay, give me a moment, please. Accelerator, an organization and a project that promotes or supports the last group of a small business. Example, Startup Chile. Startup Chile is one of the most successful, successful startup accelerated in the Latin America in the eight years. Startup Chile had accelerated over 106, 1,600 companies. Number six. Incubator. Okay. Incubator. Seven. Incubator. Incubator. An organization or a space dedicated to supporting a new business ventures. You have a, a job, right? Yeah, I have a job. Is a is a formal job or in a company or is your business? No, it's a formal job. Is it a okay. is it a is it a formal job or is it your own business? Okay. It's a formal it's job. A, okay. It's similar to Anda. Oh really? Yeah, it's just that it's private. But it, it is not in Anda. No, it's not in Anda. It's private. Oh, okay. Okay. Actually, actually, we just we just are two employees. The one that that received the actually they make the receipts and and actually yeah makes the receipts. And he's I think he's like around twelve to fifteen days waiting for the people to go pay it at the the place that they established too. Uh, in my case, I'm a plumber. A plumber. How many years do you have doing that? Like around 10 years. Oh, it's a long time. Yeah. You have a lot of experience about that. Yeah. It makes it. <laughs> Actually, I feel like my job is kind of easy for me. But like you say, the experience. Yes. How about you guys? Are, you guys are not into selling anything?
Why is everybody so quiet here? Are you guys Are you reading? Sure? Reading? Yes, the text. Oh, okay. Big. Okay. <laughs> No. Okay, so the the crypto coin uh, works like with uh, any any other um, coin. For example, if I buy, how do you say euros in English? Euros. Euros. Okay. If I if I buy euros. I have to consider the exchange rate, right? Is the same in the crypto coin? Yes, the only way to have access at that market is through the exchange. Uh, or for example, you can find many, many 
many, I remember, I forgot the name, but brokers. You can oh. use other broker, brokers or exchange, but it, for me is is better use exchange because the broker is going to, uh, they are going to, to, you are going to pay a lot of on commission. On commission, okay. Mm -hmm. But you can buy uh, in a direct way. You don't have to use a broker always. For example, if you decide to use a, um, you decide to use a exchange, um, you can you can buy a, a, you can operate something like a stock market, but sometimes you can buy other kind of the asset like a crypto asset. And that way depends what do you want. For example, if you what want you to want. buy. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it depends what you want. Uh -huh. Go ahead. And what you want. For example, if you want, if you want to buy a asset like a Coca-Cola, you need to a broker. Broker. You need a broker. You need a broker. Or you can use a exchange that they can token, they create a token to represent these, these assets. Like a goal. What is the meaning of asset? Uh, asset. Accounting? Think, think, it's part of accounting. You are an asset for your company. Um, I don't know. <laughs> and activo. Oh, okay. Is is everything that uh, that generates profits? Uh, no, everything that belongs no. to the company. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, I said. I I think the term broker broker uh, is not in the list of the term the new terms related to the international yeah. trade or but is 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 important too. Yeah, mm, not for the topic, but yeah, in e yeah. not in e-commerce. That's more on the stock exchange market. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's go back. Okay. Okay. Present. <laughs> Four or five minutes later. Wow. <laughs> no. No, but you made it. You made it. It's okay. Edwin, if you have to go, you said we're here not yet. No, he's not here yet. Okay, let's wait for your classmates. And there were a lot of new terms, new, yeah, new terms. Okay, start. Up. Let's start. Um, what do you think? Is there a new term that you didn't know, or was interesting for you? Say hostel. What is the mean? Man, I'm sneezing too much. Um, side hustle. What is that? Oh, side hustle, side hustle. It's like uh, having a, a second business, right? 
there is a slang. It says, I, I was reading too. It says that it's a slang for a second business, right? It's like, <laughs> I wish I could say this in Spanish. <laughs> um, it's like having your trouble aside, you know, it's like having a trouble, a second trouble. You have this trouble, your main trouble, and you have a second trouble. <laughs> that could be applicable for married people, you know, with yeah. Mm -hmm. Wife and lover. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> the other the other problem. Wow. Okay. Uh-huh. Side hustle. Well, yeah, as we saw in the video yesterday, remember, the guy said, focus on one thing. Focus on one thing, one thing at a time. Don't do two business at the time because pff, you're you're not gonna make it. I mean, when you start a new business, that's important. You know that that's something that I can and I feel very proud of Inglés Corporativo. I've always I always encourage my boss because I, I have the knowledge, the expertise to have more classes during the day in the facilities, right? But he's always like, no, we only do in English for para el trabajo. We only do English for work. That's all we do. We're going to become the best on that. And he did. He did. For seven years, he has done nothing more than English para el trabajo. It's been amazing. I mean, and I've been always like, hey, at least, you know, uh, rent me the rooms, you know, so I can teach during the day. He's like, no. <laughs> It's funny, but he made it. He made it. He got the hand of it. You know what is to get the hand of it, right? Okay. Come on. Alexander, Elias. What? What is the meaning of get the hand of it? Uh, it's like let everything flu flow. Hmm. Yeah, it's something like that. <laughs> Oh, come on, Jocelyn. Oh, Jocelyn is not here yet. Um, yeah, yeah. me. Elidas, what's the uh, meaning of get the hand of something? Mm. To get the hand of something. I don't something. know, maybe. Well, yeah, mm. No idea, teacher. No idea, no Spanish. I'm trying to, to identify. I uh, told you before. It's an idiom, right? But yeah. I don't know. <laughs> when you get it. I don't know. When you, Andres? Get it, get it. Get it. You got it. Got it. You when get you it. Got it. Uh -huh. Right. When you get something, I mean, when you learn something and you become an expert, let's say, or you understand mm -hmm. about it, okay, you got the hand of it. Don't worry, you will eventually get the hand of it. Okay, so let's skip up. Next question. Let me see. What is profit? Profit is the question. Perfect. The profit is the, the earnings of a company. The earnings of a company. Mm -hmm. hmm. You know how in Spanish as well is the same thing, right? You have your earnings and you have your profit. What is the difference between earning and profit? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not really sure. I don't, I don't know if it's related to the with the the margin. Maybe one of them is mm, not here. the margin. Not the margin. The margin not is a percentage. Earning, is the I percentage? Think that, uh -huh. I think that earning is all what you sell. The whole thing. And profit is your gain when you gain money. Okay, we're getting there. Accountants. On the balance sheet, there are earnings and there's profit. One of them holds, um, it's, it's before taxes or before, before oh. something. I, what? Evita, I don't know how to say in English. Yeah, what was it? Evita, earning before interest, taxes, and I don't know, I can't remember. Earnings before 
taxes mm -hmm. and um, and oh, how do you call this thing? Oh my God. Legal reserve. Before the legal reserve as well, mm -hmm. yes. So before you deduct all that, one of them is the profit. And then the earnings is like the, the gross money that you really earned, right? It's like if you sell a pupusa for 50 cents and you invested 25, okay? 25 cents is not your real money, is, right? You, sorry, is it like, I understood like this. And your earnings is your total amount that you that you got, oh so, yeah, mm -hmm. and the profit is your total amount minus your taxes. Taxes, uh, you know, paying the payroll, uh, electricity, water, all of the things that you have to take out of that that gross amount. Yeah, you get, you get the point. It's the same as in Spanish as, as in accounting. Okay, <laughs> interesting. Okay. And that's something that many people don't think about. You know, when you start a business, you never think about all the expenses you have to make. So you don't, most likely you won't see the real thing, you know, the real money that you're earning. Uh, let's see. Um, not so difficult, but common terms. Oh, networking. That's a very used term. What is not working? Erwin. Networking when you have many company communication. Or? Or uh, in the company, you have many uh, staff in the communication with the program, with a networking. You gave me an example. For example, if you have uh, the logistic, what person will be, uh, one person work in logistic and other person work in sales. Oh, but that, that's like the structure of the company. No, you gave me an example before. You mentioned Herbalife. Remember? Ah, in, in the in the in the in the how say without the company. Uh -huh, without the, the company. Remember ah. that we're, we're talking about entrepreneurs, right? Okay. Okay, and if you have at the other company, it, only the communication, only the communication and not working. Mm -hmm. That's right. As an and interpreter, it, you have to have you have to build the networking. Go ahead, Erwin. Yeah, but okay, okay, but in the uh, Herbalife, they have many persons work to Herbalife in customer to customer, but in one time, I don't know how many times they will be in the in the in the they. They will be together in one time, and all the person work in the herbal life. They speak about that they can earn the money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's a chain reaction. A sale is a chain reaction, in those sort of model. You know, this this type of model, the, the networking pyramid, and the other one, which is sidewise. Yeah, there are many models. Okay, so that's networking. And that's, is that your first niche of market when you become an entrepreneur? What do you think? Oops, I don't know. What's your first niche of market when you become an entrepreneur? Um, Irene. Excuse me, teacher, can you repeat, please? What is your first niche of market when you become an entrepreneur? No matter what you sell, but what is your first niche of market? Mm, social media? Mm. Hmm. Mm. Are you sure? Depend on. Depend there, there's a on thing, the thing, thing. <laughs> let's, say, let's say that you're going to sell eggs and vegetables. Eggs, vegetables, cheese, you know, cream. What's your first niche of market public market i, I don't know and um, houses 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 <laughs> yes. whose who's house your family uh, 
family, your family right? Okay. You, yeah. don't, you, don't you go with your brother, yeah. your sister, your cousin? Hey, I'm selling eggs. What's going on? Stop selling. Stop buying at the supermarket. Okay. Oh. Don't you think that's like the first niche of market? Think about it. Man, that's a good thought. Okay. That's like the first uh, networking that you can make, you can build. Oh, what is copyright? What's copyright? Me and my partners were discussing the copyright. Is uh, every time that you saw a movie or a music, the, there is a copyright. There is a protection to to like that you can um, copy the, the the same thing of the what we saw. You know, it has uh, like how do you say the derechos like rights. Uh, 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 has right but who's right again. who's right legal right no who legal right who? author the uh, author the author the author the author, the author. The author. The yes. author right okay why do you think yeah, that right. how do you think that this happened because do you remember the first days of the internet you could download everything you know except music the music was the first thing that they banned they banned music and that was the first thing Napster was the first example. Yeah, I remember that they have MySpace. I don't know if you remember that thing. MySpace then become Facebook. Ooh, or I don't know. We're oh, so that was a long old. Thing ago. Yeah, uh, but actually there was a, a, a like something like first shot and you can download download music. But I don't remember no, no, what no, is no, the, no. the app name. But but it's not Napster. 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 Now, sir, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you saw the movie. Oh, come on, you saw the movie. I know. <laughs> it, was, it was a great movie. What was the name of it? I can't remember. Italian Job, I think it was. Yeah, the Italian Job. The Napster guy. Okay, yeah, copyrights are very important. Actually, if you come up with an idea, okay, you have to what? What do you have to do if, if you come up with idea with an idea? It's number 10 on your list. Partner. You have to patent. Patent. How do you do you know how to do that in El Salvador? To get a patent? No. No? How? You don't know? How do you do? No. Okay, there are there are two kinds. You, you, you have that one. Every, every, one, every. Yeah, if you have one patent in El Salvador, mm -hmm. you can go at the CNR, CNR, Centro Nacional de Registro. Mm -hmm. The registro, uh huh. And you can uh, registration, you, you can register. ID, register your idea. Mm, wait. Yeah. Mm, kind of, kind of, kind of. Uh, I it's thought that, that that thing, the, the registro, it was just for uh, properties, right? Or well, this is a pro for an for idea. Everything. An idea the is immense. your property, is your property. So there are two ways. There are two things. One, if you have an idea of a product, let's say you want to build, I mean, you create this post-it thing, you know, you're, you become the inventor, the creator of this, and you think, is that a good idea? Then you take uh, an example, you take a sample, I'm sorry, to the C CNR, to the CNR, and you register it. Now, first step, you need to name it. What's the name of your invention? So you pay $20, it's cheap, and they will investigate if the name is already taken. If the name is taken, you have to pay again. <laughs> And they have to investigate again. <laughs> okay, so they will, or I think they give you options. I can remember. So that's one thing, a product. Second thing, intellectual property. Intellectual property. If you have an idea and it's good, then put it on paper. You need to write a little manual, like 10 pages at least. Okay, and then you take that little paper, 10 pages, you put a name to your idea. You take it to, to the CNR and the same thing, you pay $20, they look for the name. If it is not taken, boom, you got it. And there's one more thing that is concerning us right now. How do you come up with the name of a website? 
What is it called, Fernando? Oh. Domain. Domain. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Google, you're sleepy. Wake up. A domain. The domains are taken already. I mean, there's, at the beginning, there were a lot of domains. I have a friend, you know, kind of a friend. I, I know someone, uh, Monica Tahir. No idea. Monica Tahir. Yeah. Yes. You're true. And, and she, she told me once that she bought, she invested like eight, 10 years ago. She invested in about five domains. And she was very happy one of these days because she sold she sold a domain and they paid her a lot of money for that domain. You just imagine that if we would have thought about buying domains a long time ago and buying a domain is like thinking, okay, I'm gonna think about englishspecialties.com. That's the domain, it's mine. I register it. If you want it, you pay me and it's yours. Amazing. And nowadays, what is common to be sold? What are common things that you can sell on the internet? Mm -hmm. Cell phones, computers. Uh, no, I mean, it's not a thing. It's a figure. NTF. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Oh, you won't see it. What? What is that? That's an NTF. It's mine. <laughs> oh my God, I just can't believe. You just need to draw something, upload it, and if someone likes it, they buy it from you. Are we, oh my God, that's crazy. MTF? MTFs. It's a big market. It's a big market. Very expensive in some cases, but anyways. Unique things are becoming extraordinary for many people. There's a lot of, how do you say rarito in English? Weird. Oh, close. Rarito. Mm -hmm. There's a way. It's, it has to do with weird. Weird. Come on, type it on the chat. <laughs> Weirdo. Weirdo, yeah. Weirdo. How do you write it? Fernando, go. Okay. Weirdo, weirdo. 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 You're a weirdo. And it's not a bad thing. Yes. Yes. It is not formal, okay? It's not a bad thing, but it's not formal. Okay, let me do the attendance one more time before we move on to the next dynamic, the next uh, topic. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Thank you. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Okay. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Hmm. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Edwin, didn't you have to go to the airport or somewhere? Uh, it, it will be Thursday, teacher. Oh, Thursday. Okay, good. Yes. Good. Erika Beatriz Lopez Morales. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chavez. Present. Fredis Vladimir Cortez Lopez. I'm here, teacher. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Present. Amos Alfredo García Aranadino. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Estefanía Carolina Reyes Sánchez. So her. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Roberto Luis Omaño Orellana, Zuleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Irene Susena Cuellar Albanés. Present. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. En Thelma Clotilde Peña Martínez. 
present teacher. Okay, you know, so many teachers, many of my coworkers actually like to teach uh, to teach this uh, this sort of these models, like intermediate models, advanced models, because as a teacher, you can feel a little bit, um, you know, free to speak all you want. But that's not the point of a class. The point is for you to speak and for me to correct you. So we're gonna do something. I had something prepared um, just to give you an idea, but I will rather have you speaking about the next topic on page 16 on your workbook, which is the grammar topic. In groups, you're going to understand. We already talked about reported speech, right? So let's understand the grammar in groups. Of course, I'll be there with you. I'll visit each of the groups but you need to understand how to use reported speech with imperatives. I'll be there if you have any questions. And then we will perform exercise seven. So we're gonna to go to page 16 of your workbook. Let me show you really quick. There you go. Okay, so how to use reported speech imperatives, that's number six. Okay, page, what did I say, 16? Yeah, page 16. And exercise seven, we just need to move these sentences into the reported speech imperatives. So understand the grammar. I'll explain you a little bit later. And also perform the exercises, the six um, different examples, okay? Deal? Okay. Deal or no deal? Yes. Uh, yeah, I agree. <laughs> Come on. Now, this will help you understanding how to study a new grammar topic. I mean, if teenagers can do it now, you can do it too, I'm sure. I'm not telling you you're old, but you have to get used to using um, technology. Google it. Help each other, you know, to understand a topic. It's going to help you a lot. Okay, let's do new groups. Let's create new groups. Let's go. Hi guys, how are you? Hi everyone. Hello, good evening. So actually the, the samples that we're using right here is recommended and suggested. Instead of using set or told. 
advice, order, request, suggest, things like that. I guess, uh, for example, the number two, say, concentrate on the long term. Larry Page. And for me, maybe can we can we can write that sentence like uh, Larry Page recommend concentrate on the long term. Exactly, like reported speech. If it is in past, you move it to present and vice versa. Uh, here, the point of the chart is that it's not always necessary for you to use said or told. You can also say requests, requested, orders, ordered, advises, advised, suggested, suggests, I'm sorry, suggested, for example. So, for example, only hire people who you will work for. And it was told that was that was said by Mark Zuckerberg. So you could say, um, Mark Zuckerberg suggests suggests on, to only hire to only hire people who you will work for. I will say to hire only people who you will work for, and so on. You got it? Yes. Okay. Keep it up. Still thinking? Everybody's very thoughtful. I'm understanding we need to use the verb in the infinitive uh, form, right? Yep. Yeah, it's different now. Uh -huh. Other than said and told, you can use request, order, advice, suggest. So how would you do it on the first example? Only hire people who you will work for. Mark Zuckerberg. 
ability to hire. Okay, so Mark Zuckerberg. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark suggests. Zuckerberg suggests or recommends. Or recommends. Uh -huh. or recommends. To, hire. to only hire people who you will work mm -hmm. for. To only hire people who, okay. But in this uh, kind of sentence, uh, we always need to add the proposition to. Yes, that's part of it. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Suggest. Suggest. So, mm -hmm. so only. I only. To hire only. Mm -hmm. Only is not a bird. I only. Only people. People. Who would you work for? Who would work for? And the second may be very best advice to concentrate of the long term. Hmm? Very best advice of points. Concentrate. Yeah. Maybe recommend. Mm -hmm. How do you pronounce that name, teacher? Aaron? Levy. Aaron. Aaron. Aaron, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aaron Levy. Yeah, knowing names is, so, is something like, that not many students think about, you know, but it's part of your learning to, to know uh -huh. how to pronounce the names. Yeah. Yeah. And the last one, um, Edwin. Okay. Um, Jack Ma. 
Yakma. Recommend. Uh -huh. Recommend. Get, mm -hmm. To get used to rejection. Okay. We never use order. Oh, my God. But, uh, sorry? Uh, we never use the verb order. 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 Yeah. Order. order. Yeah, that, that, that's true. And request mm -hmm. too. We use request, not right. No. We I use we use recommend three times. <laughs> hmm. These two verbs, no, we use it. it actually is like a must request in order, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure it sounds like a task. Sounds like a task requested. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Teacher, can you give us an example to use requested or order in these quotes? Well, uh, one thing, order is a very high imperative. So yes. let me give an example. And this is what we're studying. So if you hear the teacher say, sit down, that's an order, sit down. So the teacher, the teacher ordered the students to sit down. Yeah, the teacher ordered the students to sit down. Okay. You're reporting what someone said, remember, or okay. what someone says. The teacher, you could say the teacher always orders the students to sit down. Turn off the camera. <laughs> Turn on the camera. Oh, my camera? What? <laughs> no, you, no. you order. <laughs> order us. Oh, turn no. on the camera. Yeah. Mm hmm. Now, think about it. You can, uh, one thing that I'm noticing here is, for example, Tony Xie, Tony Xie recommends to focus on the customer, not the product, or recommend it. Recommend. You can recommends recommend. to focus. That's right. Third person. Okay. Any other question? Okay. But it's but it's in past. Yeah, you can use past or present. Remember, you're reporting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Yes, uh, what? Oh, the teacher is um, very huh? We can request help. It's <laughs> not. What's up? Teacher, we have to to make a presentation of this exercise. Nah, must of all understand the grammar so you can explain okay. your classmates. Uh -huh. You can do that with examples. Okay, teacher. I think we finished. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Who's gonna explain? Um, I don't know. <laughs> they didn't decide. Okay. Who's gonna? Who's gonna? Uh, who's gonna explain? Who wanna? Who wanna explain? Irene, Doris, <laughs> Jocelyn, no, advice, 
Uh -huh. That sure that that to make user experience competitive advantage. Right? Uh -huh. Can you repeat, please? Our own leave. Uh -huh. Advice that that to make uh -huh. user experience your competitive advantage. Uh huh. Is right. I think it's okay. Uh, okay. I have a question. <clears throat> yep. When in the in the pool, uh, we can find uh, the, uh, an, an expli explication? An, expl an, expl an explanation? An explanation? Explanation about that. that the, some specific verbs are required to change an imperative sentence. That's mean, that mean, uh, for, means, for example, <clears throat> if the, the bear requests, order, advice, suggest, uh, has to be in the sentences or we can add that bird in that way. Be quiet, Fernando. <gasps> okay. okay. That is a, the that teacher, is another, that is another, the okay. teacher order Fernando to be quiet. So, oh, that, okay. that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I understand it, example, but uh, that is the, the, the way we can, uh, we can move, interpret or interpret. Mm -hmm. Remember that reported speech is like saying what someone said. Yes. So, yes. so yeah. Mm -hmm. Eat more vegetables, the doctor said. Mm -hmm. That is a uh, maybe a advice or suggest. So you go the back doctor, to your house. You go back to your house and you tell your advised, wife. Advice to me. Oh, whoa! Be careful. Advised me. me? Okay. To? to eat vegetables. More vegetables, yes. That's it. As simple as that. It sounds like a very complex topic, but it's just explaining what someone told you again. But in this opportunity, you're remem remembering, reminding yourselves about imperatives. But if it's imperative sentence, we use the auxiliar insist. We we use the auxiliars should or mm, not necessarily models or the the verb we write in infinitive only. You can write it in infinitive. You can write it in past. It's okay. You're reporting. Okay. So if someone says something, you can also say what he or she recommends. Something as simple as drink a lot of water. Mm -hmm. You can use uh, frequency adverbs. The teacher always um, recommends to drink a lot of water. To drink a lot of water. Mm -hmm. And you're reporting what someone typically says, right? That's mm -hmm. reported speech. Mm -hmm. Models are implicit on the sentence. It's like, um, you should drink a lot of water. Oh, students okay. should speak more oh, often. Daddy. Listen, students oh, okay. should speak more often. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Move it to reported speech. Jessica. The what did you? Okay, students should speak more often. Should speak, okay. More often. Students should okay. speak more often. Okay. How do you move it with an imperative? The teacher suggests the student, um, I don't remember the other. The students should speak. Should, should be uh, read 
You should speak more often. You should speak more often. In that case, you don't, you just don't don't modify the the model. Uh -huh. Don't get mm -hmm. complicated with the model. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I told you to tell me that we we can. It's not necessary to modify all the verbs. No. Correct. No, no, not. It's not necessary. Correct. Only mm -hmm. use should and the next the verb in infinitive without to, right? Mm-hmm. And. In the next sentence. You got it. Okay. Draw, draw, draw Houston. Suggest she learn a lot really fast from doing things warm. Wrong. That's right. Come again. The sentence four. Oh, the fourth sentence. Let me see. Excuse Learn a lot sentence. really fast from doing things wrong. Drew Houston. <laughs> Drew Houston <laughs> suggests <laughs> should learn. Uh oh, if you want to add a model, no. I got you. Drew Houston suggests we should learn a lot really fast from doing things wrong. Mm, I will say we could. We could learn. Sounds more appropriate. Because he's making a suggestion, but. Could is not yeah. imperative. Um, is... It's not an imperative, right? We could learn a lot really fast from doing things wrong. That's what Drew Houston suggests. If you want to add a model, but it's not necessary. Drew Houston suggests to yes. learn a lot really fast from yes. doing things wrong. Yes. Without shoot. Without shoot, oh, cool. without models. Correct. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look for what I told you before. Okay. Well, and next. Tony, 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 Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, Tony Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? It's in five sentences, in five Order. sentences. Tony, C. Order to. C. Pronunciation of the last name. Oh, or is Tony. She. 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 I will say she. 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 Although she, it's like okay in Mandarin. She. she. Oh. <laughs> Tony she suggests she? to focus on the customer, not the product. Uh huh. You got it. Simple as that. Yeah. Okay, let's take it back. <laughs> Not enough, so don't forget it. It's just a silly face I'm going through. So if I called you, don't make the fuss. Tell your friends about the two of us. Hey, oh, everybody's coming back. What is this song? <laughs> What's the song? 
what's the song really big boys don't cry i don't remember what it is big boys don't cry that's the movie um i'm not in love i'm not in love yeah i think can't remember the name there it is i found it there you go thelma this is a gift for you and for everybody i think i i gave you this little book I just send you on the WhatsApp group is a PDF with all the rules to apply models. Make sure you read it, you apply it, you understand it. It's very easy. I mean, easy in terms of uh, structure. Just remember models are their own auxiliary. They don't accept other auxiliaries. They hate other auxiliaries. So you couldn't say, I can, don't dance, <gasps> right? I would, don't mind, no, I wouldn't mind. For example, and there's um, a lot of rules. They only accept base verbs and so on. And you will find some archaic models like shall, shall is no longer used. We use will now. Um, auto, auto is very professional. Auto, auto, I, I ought to work, I ought to work, I ought to work. I have to work, I ought to work. Okay, so volunteer to explain the grammar topic is very easy. And that's why I want you to do this on your own words. Forget about the book, just let the class know um, how is this done? Remember, it's reported speech from, and this is the key, from imperatives. It's not using, you're not using an imperative. You're listening to an imperative and then you're transforming it into reported speech. Okay. I would like to try the number, the first. Sorry, the first. Ah, not, I, yet, I not... not yet the examples. I want I... an explanation of the grammar. What are we talking about? Chinese? German? <laughs> I think, teacher, uh, in this case, we listen uh, uh, something from uh, whoever, and then you share with someone like an advice, like a suggestion, and or a recommendation. Mm -hmm. For example, for example, uh, I can use <laughs> one of the exercises. Sure. Well, okay. do you know what? Let's give the opportunity to Francisco to say okay. his, his answer. Francisco, how, yes. how, how's the first exercise? I'm not sure if I did it. If, if the sentence is correct, however, I would like to show, hmm. to show to you if it is correct the idea. Mm, if the idea is correct. Mm, no, no. Okay, let's see. Uh, what do you think, Erika? It's on the chat. Uh, what I think to the to the example in the in the chat. Mm -hmm. What do you think about? What do I think about this example on the chat? That's the answer to uh, the first exercise on your book. Exercise yes. seven. I think, uh, well, in my group, we, uh, we, we wrote, Mark Zuckerberg is suggest to only hire people who you would work for. Right. Exactly. So Mark Zuckerberg suggests, now here's a dilemma. You have to say to only or to hire only. To hire only. Yeah, you got because it. Of the term. To hire only people you will work for, right? Is that right? You will work for. I'm not looking at that. 
Yeah. You... yeah. That's the way. Just like that. So what are we saying? Uh, a, a clear example. Uh, well, I'll, I'll let you continue. I, I want you to explain the class. I want you to come up with the ideas in your own words, explain to your classmates. How is this done? Fredis, if, would you like to continue? Which one, number two? No, 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 just explain the class. What are we talking about? How do you move an imperative sentence into a reported speech sentence? report speech speak freddy's that's an imperative speak freddy's request it uh, like, uh, uh, okay now do it the teacher the teacher request uh, am, I, I, am i requesting uh, I <laughs> Uh huh. The teacher is ordered. Oh, be careful with the verb uh, to be. Maybe a suggestion. It's a suggestion. Speak, Freddy. Order. Okay, <laughs> that's an order. Oh, remember, okay. remember, uh, imperatives are like a suggestion. Okay, <laughs> a suggestion, Freddy's. Oh, no, no, no. Speak, Freddy's, please. That's a request. And I, I, I want to land that idea in a minute, but let, let you know about this idea in a minute. So Freddy's moved my request, my imperative sentence to reported speech. Tell Alexander de Jesus what I said. Speak Freddy's. Okay. The teacher ordered me to speak. Mm -hmm. Ordered me speak that's it the teacher ordered me to speak hey, if, if you're falling asleep i'm gonna tell you alexander wake up or the opposite i'm sorry wake up alexander ready <laughs> huh? the teacher ordered me to speak i mean to sleep to, to wake up okay so there are two ways or two things that you need to consider. You you use tell, you can use tell and ask. Tell for orders and ask for polite requests. Hold on. You sure? Hey. What's up? Sorry, I mute everybody because I there was I I you got me on the curb because I was looking in that platform on 2.2 that I was trying to to see actually what we have to answer it. But it's kind of the same, right? Because it says instruction, read the following commands and type that using reported speech, use the verbs in the breaks, brackets. In the brackets. On brackets, yeah, the same thing. Don't talk. Well, num number one, it says, he said exercise uh -huh. regularly. And on parentheses, it says tell. So that would be? Uh-huh. He tells. No, no, no. He. Wow. Oh. Wait, what? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, that's, that's why I was breaking my mind right there. So I was like. Oh, well, yeah. unless okay. you use an indirect object, he tells me. He tells me to exercise regularly, or he tells me that he exercises regularly. Read the sentence again, Freddy's, if you have it handy. Yeah, it says, he said exercise regularly, and in parentheses says tell. Oh, okay. He says exercise Exercise regularly. He says. Can I share it for you to see it on the screen? Sure. Go ahead. Even the second one is 
just the phrase. Can you see? Almost, no. almost, almost. It's loading, I guess. I can go ahead and do it too. Oh, there you go. He said, exercise regularly. Okay, definitely. You will need to use um, an indirect object like me or us. He told us, he told me to exercise regularly. Try it. He told me, he tells me. He told me exercise. Uh, he told me to exercise regularly. He told me to exercise regularly. Now, at this point, you should know the difference between say and tell, right? When do you use say? Go ahead, submit it. Let's see. Why is your browser in Spanish? Uh oh. <laughs> you need to have your browsers in English and your cell phones and your computer, Windows in English. Come on. At this point, you see? I have it in English, but everything comes out in Spanish. I don't know why. Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah. the, the second one. Second one. Don't turn off the light, somebody. He or she say he or she ordered don't to don't mm. Mm. <laughs> okay he ordered now he this ordered. is in present we shall move it to past right he ordered who he ordered now, Me? remember, yes. imperatives don't have, sometimes, an object, right? Who is receiving this sentence? Mm -hmm. Nobody, right? He's speaking in general, so you could say, he ordered, he ordered us. not to, no. he ordered not to turn off the lights. Mm -hmm. He ordered not to turn off the lights. Mm, because she... I know it's a little bit complex because this is something that you don't use very often. Um, and he said that he, um, he suggested not to go to La Campanera. He suggested not to go to La Campanera, for example. <laughs> well, yep, he ordered not to turn off the lights. The sign says, don't drink and drive. Hmm. Someone request. It's the same. The sign requested not to. Oh. Requested or, request. or requests in general? Requests. Excellent, excellent. The sign requests. Don't or not to? Not. Not to. Not to drink and drive. In this, mm -hmm. in this case, we don't use the verb request in past. No, because it's in general. It's, an, it's a general instruction. This is the point oh. that is not explicit on the book. When you receive an imperative in general, it's not for you. It's just a sign. It's just something that someone said in general. Okay. Uh, if I tell you right now, leave the class. But in... Second, 
Oh, Example. there's there's no doer. There's no doer, right? Well, in this case, the sign, the sign says, don't drink uh, yeah. and drive. Okay. What if it only said, don't drink and drive? Yeah, it's general. In general, so how do you do it? Don't drink and drive. Or requested. Mm -hmm. It's being requested. Yeah. Okay, so remember, reported speech is just saying what you have read, what you have heard from someone, what someone said, or someone is saying, or someone typically says something. Okay, in this example, number four, you already have um, a subject. So she said, keep quiet. Let me see, Francisco, try it now. She said, keep quiet. Uh, maybe keep quiet. Okay. Oh, no. We need to use instruct. Instruct. Order. Mm -mm. Yes, she ordered. Oh, we need to use instruct. She it's in parentheses. To keep quiet. She instruct who? Request. Instruct me. Instruct me to keep quiet. Correct. She instructed me to keep quiet. She instructed me. Now, why is this exercise, why are these exercises so difficult? Well, number one, you are an intermediate five. <laughs> number two, I always tell this to my students. Think of other ways of saying things. Don't stay with just one thing, okay? Just like in Spanish, there are many ways of saying the same thing in English. I mean, in Spanish, right? So in English, it's the same. There are many ways. She instructed me to keep quiet. She instructed us to keep quiet. Okay, because it, will, it wouldn't be proper to say, she said, well, well, it is already in um, reported speech, right? She said, keep quiet. She instructed me, she instructed us. She ordered us to keep quiet. Many ways of saying the same thing. Um, Thelma, he told her, go and lay down. He said to her. Hmm. Look, there's tell. You need you need to use tell, honey. The past of tell. Said. Oh no! Told. The told. Told the pass of told. The pass of tell told. Okay, so he Dude. told. Wait a minute. He told her, "Go and lay down." Okay. Are we supposed to write the same sentence again? And yes. Okay. He told her, to "Go and lay down." Now, how do you do it? You don't use the comma, you don't use the... Um, quotation oh marks. No, 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 quotation marks, yes, thank you. She, is, she told her, go and lay down, period. You don't use the quotation marks, you don't use the exclamation mark, that's the way. Now for the next one, do you live with your family? He asked me if I live with my family. Now that's another topic that we will see tomorrow. I believe, let me see, let me double check again. Yep, reported speech, yes and no questions. We will talk about 
um, conditionants, conditionals on reported speech. Okay. Which is the next part. Do you live with your family? He asked me if I lived with my family. And that's a question. Okay. Okay. How do I teach her? This is too difficult. It's not difficult. It's just, and this is very similar to Spanish at this point. Just find sense on your own language of this part and make more exercises, do more exercises, okay? I'll make questions tomorrow. I will send you some exercises so you can practice, okay? Just think about imperatives and how to report what someone ordered you in your own words, okay? Go to sleep. Your the, order. <laughs> the teacher ordered me to go to sleep. You got it. Okay. Let's go and check the attendance. I'm staying with Erika tonight for 10 minutes. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Good night. Good night. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good night. Good night. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good night. Good night. Edwin Alexander Ayala Eraso. Present. Good night. Erika Beatriz Lopez Morales. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Hi. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good night. Good night. Francisco Madeo Villa Corta Chavez. Present, teacher. Good night. Have a good night. You too. Freddy's Vladimir Cortez Lopez. I'm here, teacher. Thanks for the help. Oh, you're welcome. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Present. Good night. Good night. Amos Alfredo Garcia Granadino. Josué Alberto Salas Benitez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jury Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present. Good night. Good night. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night. Good night. Stefania Carolina Reyes Sanchez. Present, good night. Good night. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good night. Good night. Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz. I'm here. Good night, everyone. Good night. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present, good night. Good night. Roberto Luis Omaño Arellana. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present, good night. Irene Susana Coyer Albanés. Present. Good night. Good night. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. And Thelma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Present. Good rest. Good rest. Hey, I got you. Hey, okay. I need I need Ever's cell phone number. Do you have it? I, I can listen to rule. I have problems with my internet. Okay, I'll text you. I'll text okay. you. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, thank you. Hello, hello. Okay. Hello, teacher. This is our first one-on-one -on -one session, but you have a very good English level, so I'm just gonna speak English or we prefer Spanish, I don't know, you tell me. Um, to practice English. <laughs> <laughs> Good, so uh, whenever I have a first session with a student, I, I always make two questions. Uh, the first one, well, let me know what has been your experience with English? How did you start learning English? where not exactly where but you know what have you done in the past to study english where how long has it take you to um, has it taken you to learn what you know at this point and number two what are you doing other than being here for two hours with this ugly teacher what else do you do to practice your english every day 
Okay, I think I learned uh, the most of the English I know uh, currently uh, because I like the language and I learned listening to music, uh, watching, uh, watching movies. And I take, I took some classes in, in the university. I, in fact, I have, I had five uh, subjects. But um, I think I don't. I didn't learn as much as I I would like. But in, in like uh, uh, I don't know how to explain this idea. But, uh, I like English, and that that is the reason I I search the ways to, to improve my English, reading. I have bought some courses in, in internet, but I never uh, finished them. <laughs> so in this case, I, uh, I started these classes because it's through my, my job and I feel the responsibility to to finish and to improve my English because I used uh, I use it in my work a lot every day, but um, I talk with the providers the, through email or through WhatsApp. But sometimes we have meetings and I have to speak with them, and that's that's the problem I have currently. <laughs> Okay, so basically you have to practice um, as an obligation at your job. <laughs> yes, okay. um, and I, I like to, so it, it's, a, it's a dream for me to, to be a bilingual person, bilingual person. So I try to, to achieve that goal. Awesome, good job. Okay, let's repeat, language. Language. Perfect. Language. I have bought... I have bought. No, bought? When, yep. Okay. Suggestion: When you speak, try to contract. Uh, for example, uh, how would you read that sentence? Uh, I I bought a a can of soda. Okay. I will read it as I bought a can of soda. I bought a. I bought a. I bought a can of soda. I bought a. Okay. I bought a can of soda. I bought a car. I've. Okay. You see. I I've bought a I car. I bought a car. I bought a car. Yeah. Okay. Try, okay. try, and this is what you should do at this point. Try to contract your pronunciation, mm -hmm. um, so you sound more pro, more natural, more native, and okay. just like simple rules. Follow this this simple rule. The T and the D between vowels. Mm -hmm. Okay? It sounds like R. Like R. There's no R, there's no R in English. It's R, R. 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 How do you do that? At this point, I will recommend you because you have very good English. You're perfect for this level. Now, you need to uh, articulate, Look, watch videos of articulation. And for example, the R, you say R and your tongue goes to the back. R, R. Mm -hmm. R. At the end of a word, the R is that you do rolled your tongue to the back. So you say car, car, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. tar, you see, it goes back. Um, at the beginning, it's kind of a U shape and you say Robert. Go ahead. Robert. Rose. 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 Read. Read. You got it, you feel it? It's like, ooh, and then your tongue back. Ooh, ooh, okay. Um, and sometimes it is blended. It's mixed, for example, with a W. It's stronger. The R is stronger with the D as well. You say 
driver. 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 Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Wrote. 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 Mm -hmm. There you okay. go. And so on. These are mm -hmm. like small tips that will help you. An area of improvement that you need to practice. Everybody needs to practice this. The E D endings. I started. Started. <laughs> I started yeah. uh, they, the regular verbs in simple past. Regular verbs, simple past, ED endings. There's a lot of videos on YouTube about it, how to articulate. But it's just three basic rules of pronunciation, active okay. and so on. And now, if you want to avoid getting stuck, you know what's to get stuck, to go blank? Yeah. <laughs> right? You, you get that feeling. So how do you avoid that? Google it. Go to Google and, I mean, go to YouTube and look for just a minute. Just a minute. I, 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 have, to, I have to confess something. Uh, in Spanish, I have the same problems. <laughs> really? Sometimes. Yes, <laughs> I think it's a, I don't know how do you say uh, herencia? <laughs> it's a heritage from who? Your yes, parents? Yes, I think my, yes. My father sometimes it have some uh, problems to articulate some words. So I think in, in Spanish, I, I have this problem too. Well, do it in but Spanish no, first. Not, not, not always. It is, I think it's because Not all the I, time, repeat, not all the time. Not all the time, yeah. Uh, 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 not all. Not all the time. Perfect. Not all the time. Okay. <laughs> see, it's so easy to correct this problem. So simple. Um, let me see one more thing with you. Uh, why does your father speak another language? No, no, I, I, I don't know why. Uh, I think is uh, also because I speak really fast. <laughs> And when I uh, when I feel, uh, for example, today I have a busy, really busy day, and when I am when I was speaking with my coworker, uh, I I feel the tension uh, of the of the job, and I try to speak quickly. <laughs> you are you hyper? Uh, yes. <laughs> A that's good. But that's because of your age. What are you like 23 or <laughs> no, I, no? I, I am I am 30 years old. You're 30. What? Yes. Good. Yeah. Um you're on my team. Uh, I'm 40 and I look like 30 something still. Yeah. <laughs> thank yeah, you. Thank you, thank you. I know. Okay, try to read these words on the chat. Okay. Let me see. Student, mm -hmm. student, stay, stop, slang. Perfect, slang. Good. Okay, so yeah, you don't have a problem with this. Okay, it's not mm -hmm. a student. A stay. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay. My advice. I'm not from San, Ma San Miguel. San Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Good. Hey, go to YouTube. Look for just a minute. You will find a Hindu guy, you know, a brown guy with a little chubby, you know, and he will explain mm -hmm. you this. Just a minute. It's a very useful technique. It helped me. I was applying this when I was a kid and I didn't, I didn't know. And I still do it. You will hear from many people that you're crazy if you're talking to yourself, right? <laughs> if they mm -hmm. see you talking to yourself in the mirror, it's not craziness. Listen to yourself. I love driving. Do you like driving? Yeah. Driving, listening to music. But sometimes yeah. I turn off the radio and I start talking to myself. If you see me driving and doing this and a stoplight, you know, that's me. I do it in Spanish. I do it in English most of the time. I pretend, yeah. I pretend that I'm in front of the students or in front of a scenario, you know, talking mm -hmm. about any topic, about anything. So when you get stuck, you go like, okay, how do I say this in English? You write it down or record it on your cell phone if you're driving. But the point is, 
always think in English. Okay, first okay. in Spanish. Okay, how do you say this same thing in, in, in Spanish? I mean, is there another way to say fregado in English in Spanish? <laughs> you know, so no okay. it's, it's difficult. I mean, even in Spanish, that you will, will get more vocabulary. And that's the whole point. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Go to YouTube. I'm, I assure you that's going to help you. Just a minute. Just a minute. Esto salió de un concurso um, británico que se llama. Just a minute. Donde los participantes oh. no pueden repetir una palabra. En 60 segundos tienen que hablar de un tema. Imagínate que te digan rocas. Y empiezan a contar 60 segundos. Y todos los demás en la audiencia y los demás participantes, que el otro equipo, el equipo contrario, tiene, se está fijando que no repitas ni una palabra. ¿Sí? Puedes usar sinónimos, pero no puedes repetir una palabra en todo lo que digas en 60 segundos. Y es like, ¡ah! Búscalo también. Es, 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 es bien interesante ver cómo la gente se desespera cuando se traba y, oh my God. It's crazy. Sí. ¿Cómo se cómo dijo que se llama? Just a minute. Ahí está en el chat. Ah, ok. Si quieres, ah, tomarle okay. un screenshot a eso. Ok. De acuerdo. Ok. Y estoy a la orden. Me puedes escribir al WhatsApp si necesitas algo otro tip o alguna ayuda. O me puedes enviar un recording, no más de 30 segundos. Si quieres, <risa> <risa> si quieres por ejemplo, contestar cualquier pregunta que ya te sepas a este punto, como, I don't know, uh, tell me about your background or mm, what have you been doing for the last five years? So you can practice past, you record for 30 seconds and, and you tell me on the text, teacher, listen to this and tell me how I sound. Okay. And I will send you the feedback. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. My pleasure. Enjoy the night. Good night. Good night.